I am a diehard League of Legends fan. I've been watching League of Legends esports for years, since like 2016 and 2017. We had the dragon come down in the stadium, which has solidified my love for the game. And Valorant is kind of getting all the hype that League of Legends used to have way back when. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not fully interested in Valorant as a game. It just hasn't been my fancy. I've tried playing it. I've tried watching esports back whenever Optic was there. I've even watched some of the 100 Thieves games. It just... It's not necessarily my forte. Call of Duty has always been more of my style in terms of FPS. But one of the things that Valorant is doing is they're now releasing a like world or what they're calling like a champion song similar to what the world's anthem is. And that is a big moment for me. I personally love the music of League of Legends. I constantly re-rank the world songs every single year. It's a massive moment that plays into the opening ceremony as, it, as I'd imagine it probably will here as well so i want to see what is valorant music what is the valorant world or champions anthem like compared to league of legends is it going to become this big thing where little nas x is doing the song and you have these massive features and these songs that have hundreds of thousands of views on reactions as people talk about them is it truly there we'll see I will say, looking at the views within the first hour, I think the world's anthems typically get like a couple hundred that. Like, there's always people waiting to watch these whenever they come out because they're this massively hyped up event with big songs, big names. There's even marketing that goes into it. Lil Nas X had like the whole like reveal and layout like two weeks prior to the song coming out. I don't know. Let's see how this goes. I'm also interested to see like what style of music they go for. Obviously gonna have to pause it because that's YouTube's requirements for reaction videos and stuff like this. It's interesting because it definitely does have, like, there are elements that make these worlds and champions anthems what they are, which is like this, you know, hype piece that continues to build as the song goes on with a really, like, hard smashing chorus. And this kind of feels like we're going, like, alt-rock kind of punk in a way, uh, but the animation style is obviously very similar to what we've seen, especially last year with worlds. Like, this tends to be the theme that they go for more than like the hyper realism that we saw with like rise in 2018. Okay, that chorus hit hard. Really, really hard. <laughs> that was good. Holy crap. Like, oh, whew. that's like, like comparing it to League. There's uh, Burn It All Down and then Take Over were like the two songs that like, kind of tried to go that route, but they kept it very safe within like their, like still within like the realm of what a world song was. Like this pushes that envelope in a way that I feel like many of us wanted during that. And also the animation is interesting. I mean, I think they're going for the storyline of like, you're just your average fan watching and you can become these agents and become this thing that obviously is a little bit bigger than life, even though like you're not the one necessarily playing. It gives you that feel of like anybody can be in that position, which is really cool. Rather than like telling a story of like a prior champions, like there's not enough history in Valorant yet to really tell that story. So it is good to come from the fan POV and go into this. This is really good. Win, win, losing, losing, either way. Yeah, we Got an attitude, I'm out the roof up in the air. This run, I make it count, yeah, I'm talking right now. Feel like a comeback kid, got no time to spare. Double up score, 22 to four. You know I win a lot, gotta win one more. On a hot street, never gets old. Sold it with the ace, and my team went gold.
Okay, I get the story. I'll give it one more try. Real quick before we get, I, I, ah, oh, that hit hard. That was really like the, it's the old school esports vibes of like being just a group of five friends, and maybe you're the better one of the group, or maybe you have that squad that can go up with you, but just grinding, going from nothing, like playing in the garage, playing in the basement, to then getting on a team, getting the sign, and just like climbing up that ladder very, very quickly. I don't know why, but I keep coming back every time. I want it for That is abs is that all the signatures of the players? Do I recognize any names here? I don't I don't think I do. I think I don't think I'm going to, but that was incredible. Oh my god. That they crushed that. That was so good. That was so so good. That just the why, the raspiness of his voice uh, for, I think it's Gravitz in the chorus, was just unbelievable. Bibinos' verse, like, hit exactly how it's going to. The storyline was great. Er, like, everything about this was so good. Holy crap. What's the reaction to this? It should be positive, right? Yeah. Yeah, it just, it takes you back. That was so good. It was so, so good. Like... The biggest criticism I've had with some of the Riot music over the last, like, few times that they've released songs is that it does, like, feel very similar. And by all means, this, like, pulls in elements that are familiar to Valorant. And you can tell. Valorant has, like, a specific style of music that's separate from, like, the League of Legends style of music. But it's similar but different at the same time. Like, it does enough to vary from that that it's unique and identifiable in its own way. And that was so good. Holy crap. Jesus. I can't say that this is necessarily going to make me watch Valorant more, or, like, I might tune into Champions a little bit whenever we have, like, off time with the LCS going on right now, but I just appreciate that they're content Riot is specifically in pushing the envelope at all times when it comes to this stuff and just constantly making these events seem bigger than life because that, as a fan, is what you want. Ugh, good job. Phenomenal song, phenomenal video. That's just incredible. That deserves a like. I'll catch you on the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you like League of Legends content, or if you're a Valorant fan that wants to learn about League, check out any of my other previous content. Put out four videos a week talking about it all, and we got Worlds coming up in a few months that if you like Champions, you'll probably like Worlds. Catch you on the next one.